Lawmakers on the General Purpose Committee of the East African Legislative Assembly tabled a report on the rights of children in partner states. The issue of adopting children from member states took a center stage. Rwanda has four hundred children in, uh, who are working in domestic and child labor. Kenya has one point nine million children in, in child labor. Uganda has three million children engaged in child labor. Tanzania has about four million children engaged in child labor. So this is a problem. Uganda's State Minister for East African Affairs, Shembegeine, proposed that foreigners who practice same-sex marriage should not be allowed to adopt children in the region. I think it shouldn't be accepted. If they believe that that is a way of life, that that is in keeping with God's creation, let them go and produce their own children. Because what happens when a man pretends to be a woman, and the child is adopted, and the child is being forced to call a man a woman, Madam, Mummy, when the story is here with a Children available for adoption are children of parents that do not have the three needs and wants of life. In 2013, Parliament passed the anti-homosexuality bill, which was later repealed by court. Earlier, development partners cut aid to Uganda, saying the country was abusing human rights by seeking to criminalize same-sex. And we should allow children to be adopted by them. And, it, and it's because of that, if we say no, then we don't get aid? No. No, I don't accept that. An East African Legislative Assembly member from Rwanda said she blocked foreigners who had sought to adopt 400 children in the country, yet their real intention was to cut out organ transplant on them. They were pretending to come and adopt 400 children from my country. They wanted to go and sell those children. Members of the East African Legislative Assembly are also considering to enact a regional law on the adoption of children from the five partner states. I even started working on it to bring a regional law on adoption. Last year, NTV did an investigative story on a family in Mukono district which ignorantly gave away their child for adoption to an American family. Now they are stuck and have no access to the child. Jingo Francis, NTV Parliament.